changing very old habits. Remember, it's not easy in the beginning. As we are here talking about changing a very old habit, which is a kind of way of living for you. But you must also know that this, that it's only you who can do this and have a breakthrough in your life. When we look at the way in which most of us exhibit distorted thinking, there is quite often a belief within us which says that the world or situations or things or people should or must be a certain way. Very few of us do not hold some rigid beliefs. The world should be like this. Other people should behave in this way and etc. There is no flexibility of thoughts. It's an absolute. There are rigid beliefs. To make matters even worse, we apply them to ourselves. I should have done this or that or be a certain way causing us to experience guilty feelings and frustrations. Be very careful with the words you encounter at all the times in your thought. These words with time and continued attention becomes a strong belief, which can create trails of negative feeling if you do not keep a window for a change. For example, I should be earning big bonus like one of my colleagues get. I should have been more supportive or I must always be on time. She shouldn't be so suspicious. Did you notice the should and the must words that we use to give a thought so much power to become our beliefs? There, there are three things that tend to occur when you think in this way. First, you create a land of make-believe, forsaking reality of how things should be. Second, precious time and emotional energy is expended on criticizing or condemning whatever it is that is violating the should. And third, the emphasis is on the problem and how bad you feel about it rather than looking for a solution. Instead of making you feel motivated, it tends to make you feel as though you are under a huge pressure. Life being how and what it is. We set ourselves up for misery if we hold these rigid beliefs about how people should be, how things should be, and how we should be. The problem is the stubbornness in the belief which can only lead to bad feelings. The should words and the must words are really dangerous ones. The healthy approach to thinking is to eliminate the thought that things should or must be a certain way. We need to think more in terms of preferences. Beliefs will not cause a problem if we think of them as a desire or realize that things do not have to unfold in a certain way. The healthy way of thinking as opposed to demanding that situations should be different to how they are is to prefer that things should be in a certain way and most importantly you should be in a position to cope when things don't happen in the way you would have desired. Now let's understand it with an example. First, we want to eliminate the should from any statement. Then having got rid of the should words, we now will have to focus on to change the way we think in order to adapt a more flexible approach so that self-talk gives the right feeling. For example, instead of I should be earning big bad bonus like my colleagues, you may consider to reframe the sentence to I would like to have achieved more by now. I must talk to the HR about the possibility of getting big bonus. Here you are not forcing the should word on something which is beyond your control. In this reframe sentence, you are forced focusing on the must word which is in your control. That is taking talking to the HR. This way you have well prepared yourself to both 
favorable as well as not so favorable outcomes. This kind of talk creates less bad feeling and allows for the impetus to try and change things. Give up being a should or must victim and allow yourself to be creative in handling situations to unleash positive energy and motivation and free yourself of guilt. One thing that you must remember is that to change the rigid words, you have to change your beliefs at the same time. Otherwise, you will end up feeling bad again. So these are all vicious circle. You have to do, you have to eliminate one portion and then you have to work on other. So you have to keep practicing it and then emerge as a huge and really big inner. Always remember, you're worthy of your happiness. You're worth it.